Hello Aries! Welcome to your bonus love reading Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aries, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Let's see, what do we have for you? Okay. So Aries, we, we are connecting this reading for you with someone who wants to apologize. This is someone who wants to come forward, who wants to express that they are sorry. I feel this person really wants to heal this connection. There is something also about their energy that they might be going through a healing. But mainly I feel that they truly want to apologize and heal, heal, his, heal this connection. Or something here that happened in this connection, Aries. This is also someone who's going through a healing in general. And it's like because of that journey, this person, it's now it's realizing that it's the best thing for this connect, the best thing for this connection. And it's like the part of that healing journey, journey is to come forward and, and ask uh, for your forgiveness. Uh, essentially, they need to apologize for something uh, that they might have done here. On your side, we have proposal. Uh, your energy what I am getting here Aries, is that if this person is able to come forward in the right way with this energy it might be a case that you uh, would be open to give this person or like you would be open for the pos possibility to give this person a chance you know Mutual energy. We have winter forgiveness, you see? So we have an apology, forgiveness and autumn. So with the winter, I feel that at the moment there might be no contact situation for a lot of you regarding this connection because that, that energy indicates like, you know, um, someone might have detached or like they've uh, distanced themselves from, from this connection. But mainly it's like, for some of you, it might be a case here that this person ghosted you. Or it's like they became quite cold towards you, if I can say it that way. But I feel that there is no contact situation. But if, that, if that's the case, this person wants to apologize and ask for your forgiveness. And I feel that because this is a mutual energy and if this person, again, is able to come forward in a right way, I feel that you might you, you might be open to, 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 to again to the possibility to grant them this this forgiveness. We have autumn, also energy of autumn. For some of you, something might have happened between the two of you during autumn time. Something of significance. But this is energy of nostalgia, reminiscing about the past. Uh, or something that happened between the two of you. I feel this is, again, as it is a mutual energy, you might be thinking about this person. If that's the case, this is a mutual energy. This person is also obviously thinking about you, Aries. Overall energy, we have separation. So uh, as I was getting with this energy, I feel that at the moment uh, you might not be on a speaking terms. There might be a separation between the two of you or there was a breakup. Let's see. Let's see, Aries. Could you please show me more? Meaning, could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Aries and this connection? Nine of Wands. Magician. Aries, you might be dealing with Gemini, Virgo. Ten of Swords. The Lovers. More Gemini energy.
we have ten of wands we have the Hierophant additional message we have a seven of swords six of pentacles and strength as an overall energy you might be dealing with leo or taurus as those the, those energies we have here as well okay so aries we for this person we have nine day energy nine of wands magician ten of swords the lovers ten of wands and hierophant it feels here i'm getting very strong energy of regret it's like i had an opportunity this is what i feel that this person is saying essentially i had this opportunity to create a very happy relationship uh, with aries but it's like i messed things up because you see look we have a nine of wands nine of wands here suggests that you might be dealing with someone who uh, has their guard up there, I feel this person created that invisible wall and it was very difficult to get through it. Uh, and it also suggests here that this person might have trust issues. Maybe they are very insecure and those insecurities really kind of affected the current state of affairs between the two of you. Things here are going to change. This is, it's a strong energy of self-sabotage. That's what I am getting very strongly here. It's like this person got scared that they going. It's like they were assuming the worst that at some point you might lose interest, and then they will have uh, their heart broken, or they would be left with their heart broken, something like this. And it 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 feels like they would draw their energy here because of those insecurities. And again, assuming a lot. I feel you're dealing here with someone who is very much. Uh, overthinking stuck in their head overthinking about something but this 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 magician here suggests that this person wants to talk magician is communication action you know this is a major energy of manifestation it wouldn't surprise me if this person has been thinking about you and it's like you are having dreams about them or recently you had a dream or this person's name just randomly you kind of you know hear that they name or there is a song that reminds you of them it's all the signs here that this person is really thinking about you maybe you just in general you're just thinking about them a lot um, this is how this person is attracting you your energy but magician suggests here in this reading that this person wants to talk about a certain ending with the ten of swords that happened in this connection with the lovers and I feel this person really wants to express with the Ten of Wands how difficult this this um, this period has been for them. And it's not in the sense of kind of trying to play a victim card. I feel this person wants to emphasize that they truly kind of, they want to express some sort of form of remorse. It's like, I've made that mistake and now I have to carry the burden of my own actions. That's what this Ten of Wands here kind of uh, showing us. And then we have the Hierophant, that higher level of commitment. You have someone here who, um, who wants to talk about the situation. I feel this person at some point, they betrayed your trust. Um, they've acted in a not particularly great way. And I am very, very gentle with my words. Um, you know, Ten of Swords is the energy of betrayal. Uh, this is, I feel that you've experienced a very painful ending regarding this connection. We have that energy of separation. Um, and I feel that for some of you, you might felt like this person metaphorically saying they stabbed you in the back. And now they want to talk about this. This person wants to express that they made the mistake. And it's like, I fully, because Ten of Wands is also taking responsibility. And I feel this person wants to take, wants to kind of express that they are taking here full responsibility for their actions. And it's like they want to express that they would love to be given a chance with the lovers and the Hierophant. They would love to be in a serious relationship. 
Mm -hmm. There is something here about them being committed to uh, to show you that they truly mean here what they're saying because Hierophant is a commitment as well. Yeah. An additional message, we have a Seven of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. Yes, it feels here very strongly that this person wasn't fully true with you. They were quite, um, I would say, sneaky, to maybe even two-faced. They were telling you something else with the Six of Pentacles. There, there, there is this energy with the Seven of Swords of breadcrumbing. Uh, they were telling you something that you wanted to hear but they were acting com completely behind your back. You know, this is an energy of secrets, um, not being fully transparent, being sneaky. But this person here is holding the Five of Swords. It suggests that this person has been manipulative as well. And maybe at some point they were playing mind games. And with the Two of Swords, it's like they were refusing to acknowledge that at some point. Because Two of Swords, it's that blockage, crossroads but in this case it is also an energy of denial so it's like you know they really wanted to kind of um, come across as someone here who is telling the truth and they were trying to use all the arguments that were available for them but I feel that at some point you've kind of uh, realized here what's going on strength as an overall energy eight of pentacles yes and king of wands it feels like this person here has a plan Aries that King of Wands, it's it's a passive energy, but uh, it's quite methodical energy because um, King of Wands in general represents someone who is very ambitious, who can be very good looking, who has this natural X factor, uh, who can be quite charismatic, you know, and uh, very, very attractive, right? But this is someone here who knows exactly what they're about to do. It's like this person is planning a next move. Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, it might be someone from your workplace or someone connected with your work-related matters. Or maybe this person was introduced to you by your work colleague. Um, if that's not the case, because it doesn't have to be, Eight of Pentacles suggests that this person wants to put an effort. And with the strength, they will be very, very diplomatic. This is someone here who is planning to approach you in a different way being very understanding being very gentle with their words um, also uh, not being confrontational nothing of this kind because this person knows that that wouldn't serve them you know and you have someone here who wants to apologize and essentially heal this connection with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like this person will be trying very, very hard. They are planning to do that. This is someone who is kind of uh, setting their intentions of doing this. And it feels like they're going to do that. It's like this person will really want it to prove it to you that um, they care. Someone here who wants to work on this connection, who wants to work things out with you and who wants to put a significant effort in order to gain that desired result. So let's see. Let's see Aries. Let's see your energy. Could you please show me Aries's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection, please? We have Seven of Cups. Knight of Cups. Page of Cups, Four of Swords, Temperance, we have three of swords mm -hmm. overall energy two of wands so you might be dealing aries with sagittarius we have leo 
two of wands the sun seven of pentacles okay so when it comes to your energy aries we have a seven of cups this is someone i feel that at some point they made you feel that you are an op that you were an option not a priority that's how they made you feel um there is something here about you know because seven of cups it's about illusions trying to sell a false kind of sense of reality trying to convince someone to kind of believe something but actually um, the reality is a completely different regarding this 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 situation and i feel this is how this person made you feel also with the seven of cups there is this element of lack lacking of lack of clarity or lack that something is lacking clarity uh, and I feel this person brought in enormous, enormous amount of confusion. We have a Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups. I feel, Aries, that at some point you tried to communicate with them. At least some of you. Because what I am getting here that when this person would draw their energy, or for some of you this person might have ghosted you, I feel that you tried to reach out to them and you were very nice. Maybe you've kind of sent very kind of normal, normal, I mean, casual message, something of, oh, I haven't heard from you. Uh, how have you been? Uh, is everything okay? You know, something like this I'm getting here. But I feel that you haven't received any response with the Four of Swords. There was a lack of response from this person. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel that... You are trying to heal, especially with the Four of Swords and the Temperance. This is a strong healing energy. And also, uh, Aries, you are protected. That This is a guardian angel of tarot and it's in your energy. So you have nothing to worry about. But ultimately, I feel very strongly that you've tried to be very... Um, I feel that you, that uh, when this person ghosted you of kind of they would draw their energy and when you sent for some of you when you tried to communicate or to reach out to them uh, and this person didn't reply I feel that you with the temperance you try to kind of uh, just focus on everyday life but uh, this is someone who indeed broke your heart at the end of the day with the three of swords they they cause this disappointment emotional disappointment emotional hurt and um, emotional upheaval this is card of sadness and uh, heartbreak so i feel here very strongly that indeed this is someone here who um, who would draw their energy and they by doing this and not providing you any explanation um, they broke you, they, they, they broke your heart. Well, the thing here is, Aries, that this Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups, um, it's showing that you can expect this person to, to, to reach out to you because they want to apologize. Knight of Cups is, as a, me as a reader, this is my personal card of an apology. And it feels that that's exactly what it's what it's going to happen here for 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 some of you with the page of cups i feel that this person will try to come across as someone who like that they've learned they lesson they will try to come across as a person who has pure intentions that they truly mean uh, there is some sort of kind of you know that they truly mean what they are saying and there is this acknowledgement also i'm getting very strongly from this person that um they really kind of uh, they are aware that their behavior towards this connection might be quite let's say might be quite questionable or might have been quite questionable it's like this i feel that this person will going to take a full responsibility or they will kind of at least they will express this in that sort of kind of a uh, way we have a two of wands the sun and seven of pentacles you see here is the thing i feel aries that irrespective of what might have happened here between the two of you with the seven of pentacles um i feel that you are still invested in this connection with the sun um and with the two of wands i feel that you 
kind of maybe subconsciously waiting for some of you for this person to finally make a move and kind of you know come forward here i feel that you truly would want it to have that opportunity to talk with this person about what happened but in general with the sun i feel that you have very warm feelings for them um, this is also card of happiness joy fulfillment and i feel that you just in general want things to be just okay between the two of you mm -hmm. let's see let's see nine of swords yeah this is someone who's losing sleep over you and this connection king of cups yes very emotional you have someone here who is uh, very deep in their emotions at the moment could you please show me the outcome for aries regarding this connection so we have nine of pentacles two of swords mm -hmm. seven of pentacles and we have six of pentacles okay seven of swords as an overall energy the sun and the king of pentacles okay let's leave it that way so this person here aries is coming with the energy of two of swords and nine of pentacles yeah i feel that this is someone here who acknowledged and it's very interesting because we have this two of swords that i was talking about i feel this person is going to acknowledge that yes they were they've been in denial and with the nine of pentacles that they were very selfish and i'm getting also that kind of energy because nine of pentacles is the very self-sufficient very independent energy it can also in love readings represent someone who is single and who likes that kind of lifestyle and i feel that this person here is going to uh, acknowledge the fact that they've been for quite some time in denial uh, that they don't want that that they don't need uh, anyone else but the reality is completely different mm -hmm. then mutual energy we have a seven of pentacles time patience here is very much needed i feel in order to fully heal this connection but it feels like both of the parties are quite invested still in this situation and the six of pentacles here as a final card for your outcome and also energy that you are coming in to this outcome represents <sighs> It feels here very strongly, Aries, that you will be in a position of power. Um, you will be the one from who it's like it will depend on you how much energy, attention, let's say, affection, uh, your time you will give to this person. For some of you, it might be a case that it will be a little bit. Or for some of you, it might be a case that when this person will come forward in the right way, uh, you will essentially give them another chance. You know, of course, it depends on you. But the main thing here is that you will be in control how much energy you will dedicate, let's say it that way, towards this connection. And then we have overall energy, seven of swords with that sun. And then we had the king of pentacles. That seven of swords here suggests, mm, oh, we have a queen of pentacles. So we have king of pentacles we had here when I was looking. Oh, there you go. There, there he is, <laughs> that energy. So we have divine counterpart energy, Aries. You might be dealing with the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? But the main thing here is that with the seven of swords and the two of cups i feel that the love is still there the sentiment is there and it's mutual but seven of swords suggests here that you don't trust this person um and i feel that this person that's why we have a seven of pentacles here 
I feel that in general, for a lot of you, you are com you will be coming here from the place of fine, we can talk, we'll see what the future brings, but don't expect from me to immediately, you know, allowing you to, to, to be a uh, priority in my life. That's what I am getting very strongly. I feel that this person will really have to put an effort. They will really have to show that they care and that will take time because this person betrayed your trust with the seven of swords because they were sneaky faced and not fully transparent and they were having secrets and then we have this two of cups it's like a betrayal of trust or betrayal of some sort of promise promise of love that was made between the two of you betrayal regarding this connection but love it's still there and the good thing here is or quite optimistic is that we have the sun and sun it's a beautiful energy one this is the most positive card in the deck that brings happiness joy fulfillment as i mentioned before also this is uh this is a card of optimism and and positivity so it feels here very strongly that this connection can be healed and both of you can be in a together in a happy relationship but certain things has to be addressed and has to be worked through first nevertheless expect this person here to uh, to come forward to to reach out to you with this magician and there will be a conversation about something here that happened between the two of you and it feels like this person will really try to gain your forgiveness they will come with an apology and it's like they will ex express uh, that they are sorry this is someone who feels like they maybe the way that they will word this but you will get an impression that they are taking responsibility here for their actions mm -hmm. Aries I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Aries, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.